Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Wei Wuxian Mad World. This video is requested by a ToddReacts.com member. You two can join today. Link down below in the description will get you there. Throw a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. You can come check it out. And let's go. That was so awesome. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, I love the animation version. I've never seen that before. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go through it. It's a much deserved love. So this person gives their opinion of the animated versus the live action. This is interesting. Try to give my opinion of a person who saw both the animated version and the untamed drama in full, but haven't read the novel quite yet. Before I start, I do need to say that this is very much my own opinion, of course. If you're looking for fighting scenes, beautiful animation, shorter runtime, go for the animation. I mean, those are all excellent things. <laughs> the story isn't as constrained by Chinese censorship, so they don't need to find any roundabout explanation for powers that would violate the good guy code of the main character. The action also looks much better. The story is shorter. The runtime overall fitted into 23 minute episodes of each about 20 minutes, or excuse me, 23 episodes <laughs> of each about 20 minutes and getting about three fourths in third series is set to be released sometime next year. Wait, how old is this? Four years ago. It's already released. Uh, and unfortunately it means that some plot lines and especially characters haven't been given as much space as they deserved in my opinion, but the plot itself is much more streamlined, easier to understand, and closer to the novel itself. 
The drama is much longer, 50 episodes of 40 minutes each. I liked how that fact gave them space to give enough space to character arcs and plot points. It also unfortunately necessitates the creators to add their own plot lines and plot points of their own making with varying levels of success. See, this is why I said on a previous video, I'm cool with writers kind of adapting it to fit the time constraints, but I really don't like when they try to go off on their own and change what's already a work of art. I get it, you can't do everything one for one because of censors or maybe, um, you know, towards an audience that you're trying to reach, but changing plot lines and having some of your own and going about it that way, that just seems to me a waste of time. <laughs> maybe it's an ego thing, I'm not exactly sure. While some of them are nearly indistinguishable from the original and add meaningful interaction between characters, other feel contrite. Oh well, the scenery and costumes are amazing. I've definitely thought that. And aside from some very minor characters, the acting chops of everyone involved are great, especially the main two. The fight scenes I found funny, to be honest. They're shot very well, but the choreography is slightly dumb and the obvious they're shot very well, but the choreography is slightly dumb and the obvious way they are dangling from the wires is ridiculous. But that is the fate of a Chinese fight drama. So I think that's something we need to take as is. Well, yeah, of course. It is what it is. I mean, it's it's very much uh, par for the course for that kind of drama or fight scene. I've seen it in countless movies. I kind of like it, honestly. I don't mind the wires and the crazy movements. I think it kind of adds to it. It's a little different than just standing in front of somebody and just sword fighting. <laughs> the drama is also constrained by another thing and that is budget for extras. It means that some armies are made of about 40 people. You see a certain guy die on screen three times in different costumes and they had to find some other not so creative ways to work around that. The lack of the budget is also very visible in the CGI that a Westerner is very obvious. That to a Westerner is very obvious and not very well done or well coordinated. Well, yeah, budget. You're not gonna get great CGI out of most TV shows. That's really, you gotta have time and money. And that's mostly in movies. And movies that actually take the time to do it. There are plenty of movies that come out in the West that look like total hot garbage. If you are sensitive to any of that, go for the anime. As for myself, I think I enjoyed the drama slightly more. I really like the character work that while present in the anime quite a bit is much pr more pronounced in the live action. If you are however looking for a tighter story with slightly less character arcs and more impressive fight scenes, anime is a thing for you. Yeah, I would say, let's see, if I were to pick one of those, what would it be? For me personally, it would probably be the live action just because I don't typically watch anime or cartoons. But I'm certainly capable of seeing the fact that I'm also losing some things. Because with animation, you can go as crazy as you want. You could have armies of thousands and just draw them all in or whatever. You're not going to get that on any show. <laughs> and even probably the best done army I've ever seen was Lord of the Rings. Where they had the massive amount of orcs and whatnot CGI'd like crazy. That was really beautiful. But... You can't expect that on a TV show, obviously. Which one would you pick? Would you rather watch the anime or would you rather watch a live action? And the person who asked said, thanks for the help, I now know what I should watch. Both. This person says, I love watching the live action adaptation because it focuses more on the Wang Xian relationship. Yeah, that makes sense. That kind of happens mostly with the live action, I assume, animation, probably sticks a little bit more towards the action just because it's so fun it's probably fun to draw i have no idea but it's probably really fun to draw the action in that looked incredible <laughs> which is super brutal you can just be as gory and as unrelenting as you want in the anime and obviously there's some limits to live action but uh, that was really impressive. Next person says, animation, of course, better direction, better music, better fight choreography, better script, better color light use, more faithful to the novel. I've been saying that like crazy. Less funny CGI, no cringeworthy acting, less censorship. 
Well, there you go. It's kind of hard to go against the animation after reading a list like that, but I still, uh, I still can't do it because I'm, I don't watch anime. You know, that's not like my go-to. So for me, it's the live action, and I guess I would rather see more of the relationship. But yeah, that's that's a tough call. That's a really tough call because I know the animation's probably amazing. Animation, it's less censored, has no filler. And Wei Wuxian is closer to the novel. Live action, because it's a perfect combo of the voice actors and very talented actors who've done immensely well in showing the bond between the leads despite the censorship issues. Both, but animated greater than live action. To be honest, the live action was a lot easier to follow, but the animation was faster paced. Depends on the type of viewer. Well, didn't somebody else say the animation was a lot more straightforward? So I guess it depends. Completely depends on your opinion and interpretation. So not everyone thinks the same way. You know, I would probably go for the live action, even though what I'm reading about the animation, I would probably prefer the animation. Have you seen both? Do you prefer the animation? Do you prefer the live action? Let me know down below in the comments. Another person said live action features major changes to the storyline that is the least loyal of all renditions available. I hate to hear that. I really do, and it's something I will gripe about constantly, but the fact that it's live action and not animation would probably lean me to go that direction, even though after reading that, I really don't want to. For me, it's just more visually appealing and entertaining to watch live action. I don't know why. I grew up watching cartoons. It makes no sense. I don't quite understand it. What happened there? What happened between me watching Saturday morning cartoons, The Simpsons, Family Guy, and then just completely abandoning animation altogether? Like, what? I took computer animation classes all four years of high school. Like, what is going on there? <laughs> like, I guess, well, to be fair, the freshman year course was mostly Flash, cartoon-based, and then I got more into 3D rendering, 3D animation, that kind of stuff. So maybe there's a bit of a disconnect there, but still, it's weird. Toddreacts.com winter collection is available right now. This is the sweatshirt. We have a heavyweight hoodie, a beanie, sweatpants, long sleeve tee, denim jacket, all in an array of colors and much more. While you're there, pick up a membership. You can request your own videos, join the public discord, and also check out these full length episode reactions available right now. I will see you all on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Thank you.